<coughs> John, uh, that wasn't what you think. Nah, it's alright. Just drank some water. Uh, John Webb, Scotch Sci Fi.co, UK, Scotch Sci Fi.com. You can follow me on Twitter, DVD, Blade, Friend, me on Facebook, and all that. Other <sighs> Lockdown week, something, five. And for this particular video, I'm going to review something that was sent to me a little while back. It's quite a while back, actually. I don't know when it was sent to me. But bless them. They're very good. They're very nice people. Uh, Kill Holman. This is the STR cask, which is still available, which is surprising me. Because from whence I have tried it, I haven't tried this sample, but I've tried it a few times. And it's pretty good stuff. So the fact it's still out there and still available is nice. Because it means you're just not hearing about something that's not available anymore. Um, so, Kilhoman, Isla Distillery. Used to be the youngest. Um, now there's new ones, so it's not. Um, oh, fantastic. Sorry, the, the, the aroma from this is already boom. It's smoky whiskey. This is a smoky Sunday. This is going to be, week five is going to be smoky day. So, this is rather nice. Intense smoke. Um, this is Kilhoman. So, it, it's, uh, anyone who's familiar with Kilhoman, they, they do produce some rather nice farmhouse. Uh, they've, they've got a farmhouse. This farmhouse originated, uh, family owned, um, Isla, smoky good solid whiskey i'm a bit of a fan i have many a bottle of theirs including this one but i don't have it open otherwise i'd take it from a bottle but <sighs> so intense phenolic medicinal sweet peat smoke a lot of fruit there so this is an STR cast, so that's shaved, shaved, toasted and recharred, I think. Um, it's, it's a wine, a wine cast, so you use wine casks for this. That's a technique um, uh, that was uh, created by uh, the late Dr. Jim Swan, I think that was his name. Oh God, I hope it was. Um, and uh, and yeah, there, there are many distilleries that are now using that technique. Um, Kilhoman in this particular bottling case, uh, Cotswolds use it on all their standard sort of uh, their, their their regular sort of whiskey releases. Um, I believe, I think Glenmorangie did uh, did one as well. I think they did an STR cast. And yeah, a few others have as well. And it's an interesting thing to do. Take old wine casks, shave the inside of them, toast them, and then rechar them. So it's, it's basically rejuvenating that uh, that wood. And yeah, you get some serious flavour out of that that oak. Um, uh, natural colouring, uh, fifty percent ABV on this particular bottling. Uh, Seventy eight ninety five. I think it's still available for on the Michigan Exchange. Um, I don't know why I said it like that, uh, but I did say so that. And yeah, intense phenolic smoke. There's a sweetness there, sweet vanilla. There's a nice sort of red fruits in the background. Oh, wow, all the time you got that real punchy smoke. It's a gloomy, coldish crappy day and that's why i kind of went for smoke today oh, it's just fundamentally amazing stuff to smell we kill home and you get like a farmyard note i know some people find that it's a bit weird isn't it but no it, it, I, I, honestly I, um my my grandparents were uh farmers uh farmings in the family and um it's got that farmyardy kind of thing going on I don't want to say cow shit. It isn't cow shit, but it's like used hay. It's it's just it's kind of homely. It's homely if you come from farming background. It's 
just wonderfully aromatic and and uh, it's just just gives me a real warm feeling in the heart anyway on the palette So um, smoke levels wise 50 ppm, so 50 phenols per million, phenol parts per million, something like that. Um, let's do a 50 cent, yeah that's not, not, not much more to say from that label. I don't know how old it is, it's not going to be particularly old. I'm guessing it was all STR cask, it's quite dark, it's probably 5-6 years old, something like that. That's a guess, don't know for sure. Might be older, there's no year on it. Um, this was a special release for last year. Um, it's probably been out for the best part of the year, actually. I'm so surprised it's still available. It's it's fantastic stuff. So, on the palette, apart from a massive amount of enjoyment, what can I get? Great. Naturally sweet. Strawberry, red currant, very jammy, loads of smoke. Gets a little bit harsh so that the ABV shows itself off. And then waves and waves and waves of smoke. And more on that jamminess. Having a little bit of water, because I think it can take it. But I don't want to destroy it. Farmyard is coming out now. A little bit of water, you get the farminess. really good really good oh really good with water really good so much more flavor that little bit of water is making the fruit flood out and it's loads of berries all very jammy very intense a little bit of cherry in there even stone fruits everything god dark fruits it's, it's very but dark fruit orientated and it's just full of flavour. And still all that smoke is about as well and the ashiness and the oh, bit of barbecue, bit of barbecue going on in there, a bit of grilled pineapple, all sorts. That is flipping good. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Mm. Wow, crazy intense. It goes on. There's menthol in there. There's cherry menthol. It's tunes. I'm getting like the old um, menthol cherry flavoured throat sweets. That is intense stuff. So medicinal. Cough syrupy. All the things that you think would be disgusting to drink, but damn! Damn, that is far from disgusting. <laughs> this is lovely, absolutely, fundamentally gorgeous stuff. God, why haven't I tried this sooner? If you like smoky, fruity whiskies, this is it. Even a little bit of um again it's more things that sound terrible. A little bit diesel-y. Reminded me even a little bit Campbelltony kind of Campbelltony type of uh, smoke and diesel. This is good. This is really good. 
I love this. Hats off, thumbs up, all the rest of it. Love Kill Homer. Anyway, hello Morgan. Morgan, come to try it. You won't like it. Yes. Oh, is it raining out? You're a bit damp. Yes, your fountain's off. Sorry, mate. Um, all right, okay. Anyway, we'll let that one go for now. Um, fantastic. Loving it. Cheers. Stay at home. Look after yourselves. Awkward silence when I find the app to... Take care. Look after yourself. Stay at home. Cheers. I, I just wanted to say something rude then, but I won't. <laughs> I was just going to say COVID. Really. COVID. Bye.